I will now tell you your daily routine, what you will do every day. You will rise from your bed at 6 o'clock in the morning, and you will clean your cell, ready for inspection at half past 7. You will also wash yourselves. If you fail inspection, you'll be taken to punishment cells, and you will spend two weeks there fed on bread and water and nothing else. You will then receive your morning meal, soon to become your favorite food, bread and gruel. You will then go for morning prayers in the chapel. Whenever you leave your cell, you will wear a cap that has a mask in front of it with two small holes so you have a very limited vision. You will not be able to see another prisoner's face and no prisoner will see your face. This is the last time you will see a prisoner's face. You will then go for exercise. You will be chained and shackled to the prisoner in front of you and behind you, and you will march around the exercise yard to the command of the jail warders. You will then go to work. You girls in your cell picking oakum, you boys in the pens breaking rocks. At midday, we will serve you a meal, mutton soup. You've heard of chicken soup? Mutton soup is sheep soup, made from a very old sheep. You will then continue to work. At six o'clock, you will all be returned to your cells and we will serve you your evening meal, your favorite food, bread and gruel. You will then receive instruction and education from one of the jail school mistresses or one of the jail school masters. And at nine o'clock, it will be lights out and you will sleep until six o'clock the next morning when you will rise from your bed and you will do it all over again. And you will do it every day until you are released from the Crumlin Road Jail.